kayo lahat. Welcome to Pinoy Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name's PJ. Joining me, a frequent host, familiar face. His black scarf kind of shielded over there. Marky Mark. And we got an honorary Filipino, <laughs> Xander Carey, honorary, because he went to Jollibee three times, I think, with Marky Mark so far. Two or three. It'll be three soon. Yeah, it's three. <laughs> so thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. All right. So Marky Mark, what can we talk about? It's almost getting into the NBA season, so I'm excited. What, mm -hmm. what can we talk about? Yeah, I guess before, uh, before the season starts, let's get to some predictions, right? So we'll start with the awards, I guess, for the whole uh, the end of the season awards. So we'll, we'll go with the simple ones. Let's start with the sixth man of the year award. Who do you think is going to be the sixth man of the year this year? Ooh. Ah, that's a tough question. Uh, I mean, the season hasn't even begun yet. Like, I don't mm. know who's going to be on the who's bench. Who's going to be the unpredict like, you know, the, Who's the for sure fire that like, you think a good candidate? Sure, of course. Um, if I had to think about it, I'd probably put someone on like a Chicago team. Like, depends on who they start. Maybe like a Chris mm -hmm. Dunn or a Zach Levine. Mm -hmm. um, maybe even on the Warriors. I got, I got a couple in my mind. Maybe they, they will still help you guys. Maybe from the Raptors, I'm thinking Van Fleet. Sure. Coming out of him, you know, mm -hmm. he almost won it last year. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing with uh, Lou Williams again, coming back to it. Um, maybe a little bit in the, in the Lakers side of things that we got. Uh, Lance Stevenson, sure. you got Michael Beasley, possibly so Ball or Rondo, possibly Rondo, or you know a lot of players coming off in there. I'm trying to think of teams that that kind of has that six man role mm. in mind. Or maybe in Boston, uh, I'm not sure if Jalen Brown or Tatum is going to start. So if so, maybe what Terry Rozier. So a lot of good players in that I'm thinking of mm. that's coming off the bench for these teams. Like in, in Philadelphia, maybe JJ Redick is coming sure. off the bench for them. I think uh, in the case with Boston, though, like it could mm -hmm. be the same thing that happened with like the Raptors. Mm -hmm. Van Fleet didn't win it because it was like by committee that the bench was good. Mm -hmm. It'd be the same thing with Boston because even though like Jalen Brown, Tatum would win it over anybody else in the bench, mm -hmm. they still have Terry Rozier, Marcus Smart, Marcus Morris. That's still a very solid bench that they have. So it wouldn't be an easy win for any of them, I don't think. Yeah. So in a men. sense, maybe if Carmelo comes off the bench or Eric Gordon too, a for sure thing from Houston. Right? Sure. I think I'm gonna go with Eric Gordon. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. because Houston is. You know, everyone, they're gonna need him. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna need him, and they're, yeah. they'll probably use him a lot. And he yeah. was a beast, like yeah. <laughs> in the playoffs, he was right. playing out of his mind. And uh, to be honest, I didn't even know who Eric Gordon was for like the past two, <laughs> two three years, honestly. Well, he was injured the last two, three years, yeah. so. <laughs> and then he just popped out of nowhere and just played high levels, hit the key shots, yeah. and just. Interesting shots too, some yeah, crazy shots from the year. But I guess who, what's your, I don't know. I would still go to the Chicago player just because yeah. like, I don't think they're going to be a very good team. So they're going to rely on everybody to kind of come up and like hopefully play somewhat, somewhat well. Mm -hmm. So whoever, whatever guard doesn't start between Levine and Dunn, probably Dunn, I think could be a possible six man. Even Denzel Valentine, even a possible Jabari Parker, because they have Parker there now too. Mm -hmm. So he has a, you know, something to prove as well there. So mm -hmm. it's a possibility that one of them could win it, I think. Right. What what about, Mark, who, how about you? Who, who, I'm what's still your... going with, uh, I think, a, a Boston player that's going to win it this year. I think they're going to have one player that's just going to stand out. Mm. How, about, how about a Coach of the Year award? Who do you think is going to have? The toughest time, or the the, the coach is kind of going to push kind of out of nowhere. The same thing that happened last year with, with Dwayne Casey. Mm. I'm not too sure with the co coach of the year, yeah. to be honest. A lot of good candidates. Luke Walton Stevens, can be. Again. I mean, Luke Walton can be one this year if Howie True. pulls it off. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, uh, could Chicago be Nick could Nurse. Be Nick Nurse to see how he does with a new team. So there's always going to be something fresh and new. Mm -hmm. um, maybe Milwaukee, depends on Milwaukee how they do this year. Maybe Phoenix to see how they do. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of good. In, uh, in my mind in terms of uh, coach of the years but I mean Nick Nurse is a pretty good candidate as well I think so too it'd be interesting to see two Raptors coach like back to back, back. back. <laughs> two different coaches depends on how he pulls it together with, and, with of uh, a different superstar to handle right mm -hmm. I would put my money behind though Mike Malone of Denver mm -hmm. I think that's a really good team and they can make a lot of noise in the playoffs now mm -hmm. because like a lot of West teams are going to like be falling and changing mm -hmm. just because of the trades that happened in the offseason so mm -hmm. I think Denver could really rise up so he's a possible candidate mm -hmm. how about how about some uh, I guess defensive player of the year who do you think is a candidate or uh, want to win it this year? Oh, cool. are we all going Kawhi? You're gonna right? go Kawhi. You think he's gonna come back? And can you can you imitate his laugh for us? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty close. Sounded actually. like you're hungry there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he? <laughs> so we got some good. Like, I mean, Kawhi is good. Uh, I'm gonna go with Giannis. Davis, I'm gonna I mean, go with Giannis because Giannis, Giannis, you never, you don't expect him to be a defensive player, but, but I is. feel like he slides in stealthily. I think he had like three blocks per game or something. Two and a half, I think. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like, and it's crazy to see he's only 23 years old, and his ceiling is mm -hmm. like. 
up there. Mm -hmm. He's still Chow, but he's still like dominating everybody in the league. It's crazy. Absolutely. So I think I think that's his next step in this game, being a defensive like stopper. And I don't know see, if Giannis can get that part of his game up. Yeah. He's gonna be. I don't know. He can guard any position too, right? He's gonna, yeah. He's gonna mm -hmm. have a monster season. Mm -hmm. How about uh, the most improved player? Like, who do you think is gonna have the biggest leap this coming season? Mm -hmm. Again, I think it's one of those players that's been injured before. It's a like lot. A it's, I mean, it's. I mean, I can name a few. Like Brandon Ingram could be um, a couple of players. Maybe in Harden, Man, Lonzo could be a candidate as well. Uh, I mean, Markel Fultz. I would give it to Lonzo Fultz. <laughs> I mean, there's people that are having opportunities now. Like uh, a couple of players that moved into different teams. Uh, maybe John Collins a little bit. I mean, he was on the rise already from last year. Mm -hmm. A couple of players that just moved in recently, maybe Michael Beasley or maybe Javale. <laughs> you know, you, you never know what could happen, and not many big free agents in terms of movement. The yeah. Jonte Murray Spurs. That's that. That's a good boy. possibility. Because yeah. he has the opportunity Dejante, now. He's getting yeah. the the green light, right? Yeah. So, um, what about the last one? MVP. Who's your MVP this year? Oh, I didn't get my sixth man. Or my most well, improved. Well, who's sorry. the most improved? Who's the... Uh, I'll give it to Jabari Parker. Jabari? Yeah. Ooh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. He was good before he got in here. Exactly. He's always been that so good. So he has a lot to prove this year. Yeah, and, like, yeah. Chicago doesn't really have anyone that's going to take any time from him. So if he plays well, if he's healthy, mm -hmm. he'll do well. Yeah, I like watching Jabari Parker, too. Yeah. Like, when he was healthy, when he was in... Well, he had, like, Ooh, yeah. finesse. And he, he was, was really smooth, good. So. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking of another player as well, actually. I was thinking maybe... Uh, along the line of Wiggins, if it, Wiggins from the movement of Jimmy, mm -hmm. if Wiggins turns out like more than just a score, I think he could be in line for that. Steps up his defense and yeah. playmaking. If he yeah. becomes a two-way player, he could be in line. For okay, MVP, right? You mentioned MVP. MVP. Ah, yes. MVP. MVP. You know what? I'll give it to the king. LeBron. LeBron I'll this give year. Give to LeBron. Ooh. The snubs yeah. are over. Snubs are over. Mm. He's tired of. If he carries to the... this team yeah. to the playoffs and they go maybe second round. I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised because like, Harden got his Westbrook got his Durant mm -hmm. has some Curry has some mm -hmm. as much as I love Kawhi I don't think he's gonna win this year mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so maybe Anthony Davis is the only other runner I could think of like Davis and him. Giannis like are Giannis is the record that's yeah. the only thing that'll be held against him but if his record's good if he gets like fifty plus wins he could but I think it's LeBron's yeah mm -hmm. I think Dave, Davis is my pick your pick before we wrap yeah. up my pick is uh, is Giannis this year. Mm -hmm. He's going to have the green light. And he's surrounded by shooters now, so yeah. more shooters for him. Solid pick. Yeah. All right. Simmons could be in line as well, I think, if Simmons plays Ooh, as that's good a as... that's a bold call. Yeah, that's pretty Simmons bold. Simmons <laughs> could be in a conversation. 